Beating Chelsea 4-0 on the first day of the season feels like a long, long time ago for United fans. After that game against Astana in midweek where we struggled to beat Astana, at least we've got the three points today against West Ham. That's a new low point of the season so far. And some might argue that's a new low point for Solskjaer as United manager. That was a dismal, dismal game of football. West Ham did not play well, but they didn't need to. And they still came out comfortable 2-0 winners today against United. Yarmolenko with the first, Cresswell with the second. But United, wow. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer took some risks this summer. He got rid of Lukaku and he got rid of Sanchez, two senior strikers, and he didn't bring in a replacement. Today, Rashford sat down. He was knackered. No surprise that a 21-year-old kid is knackered after playing an isolated striker's role in an impressing team in his third match in eight days. He's injured now. Martial's injured. Greenwood's got tonsillitis. United literally do not have a fit senior striker at the club. And it was a risk that Solskjaer took by getting rid of Lukaku and Sanchez and putting his faith in these players improving this season. It's left United short in that position. Clearly, that's going to be United's biggest problem this season. As soon as West Ham scored one, the game was effectively done and dusted because United haven't scored more than one away from home in the Premier League since February when we beat Palace 3-1. But it's not just in attack where the problems are. The problems exist in midfield as well. Matic and McTominay, two players who are not forward-thinking individuals. Juan Mata in the number 10 role. A faded number 10 used to be so much better than he is now. Mata's passed it. We had James operating on the wing. Pereira's not even a winger. Rashford's a knackered striker. And a defence which is still trying to find its feet. United all over the pit. I'm trying my hardest here to get any sort of positive. Maybe a few runs from Dan James. It's pretty much the only direct threat we had in that game. And that front six when we were chasing the game was McTominay, Fred, Lingard, Pereira, James and Gomez. Lingard was playing up front for United. He's got one goal in his last 23 games. United are in a... Bad place. I mean, this season was always going to be tough because it's part of this rebuild. But what we saw there today, Keane must be absolutely crucifying them in his post-match comments. Because there was a real lethargic tone from front to back for the full 90 minutes. United looked tired. And is this a consequence of an intense pre-season and Solskjaer's pressing system being put on a set of players which still aren't fit enough to do it? Let me know what you think about that in the comments. Now, obviously, there's going to be some people shouting Ole out, but no. And it's not the solution to the problem. Getting rid of the fucking manager is not the solution to the problems. It's the cause of this massive problem that United find themselves in because we've spent so much money poorly under so many different managers. This is still the consequence of that. And that will not change overnight. But there's losing. And there's losing like United did there against West Ham. 2-0. And West Ham did not have to play well at all. The only moment of quality was the goal in the first half. United didn't threaten at all. And when we, had, when, we, when we did have the chances, that one where Pereira squared it to Mata, he fluffed his lines. Maguire shot from three yards out, straight at the keeper. Those two, had they gone in, would have changed the game completely. But United haven't been clinical when we've had chances this season. And we haven't had that many chances. But clearly, the biggest talking point, I think, from that game is the fact that Rashford now went down with what looked like a thigh injury. Martial's already out injured. He's just coming back. Maybe he'll be fit for the next game. But United, up front, are massively weak this season because of a risk that Solskjaer took in getting rid of two internationals, senior internationals, and not bringing any replacement in. Now, was that a consequence of United just doing their business late and we didn't have enough time? I don't think so because United would have and should have planned to find that replacement. So I don't think United went to try and find a replacement. I think Solskjaer put his faith in Greenwood, Martial and Rashford to sort of take the mantle. It's not working. Certainly not at the moment. Rashford, the start of the season. Chelsea, brilliant. Ever since, he's just been slipping downwards. 
I don't really know what to say there. There are very few, if any, positives to take from that game whatsoever. Should be happy to see Angel Gomez coming off the bench, but he's just getting thrown in on the wing when 2-0 down against West Ham. That's not going to help him improve. And we do have that complete lack of experience. As I said, that front six and we're chasing that game of Fred, McTominay, Pereira, James and Rashford and Gomez. There's no game winner in there. There's no experienced player who's been in this situation before to help steer United back into the game. We look like a pub team today and we deserved to lose. 2-0 was a fair result. Fair play to West Ham. But United... There's problems. We know there's problems at the club. Now we're seeing them a lot worse. Well, probably the worst so far this season. And it doesn't seem to be getting any better. So there's going to be a lot of angry comments and a lot of angry reaction to this game. So let me know what you think about it in the comments below. But United, something has to change. And if Rashford's injured, who's going to start up front for us now? Let me know what you think. And Paul Pogba, he's been missing too. United haven't had... That much luck with injuries, but it happens. So you can't just blame that. United, we look a shadow of our former selves at the moment. Quite an embarrassing defeat, that one.